This is the Skoda Fabia Monte Carlo and we do love the Skoda Fabia in the AA so much so that the AA jury last year reckons that this is the best super mini you can buy. So should you get the Monte Carlo version which is the very top of the tree right now when it comes to the Fabia? Let's find out. The Monte Carlo is a special edition so what are those special features? Well first of all this colour is Phoenix Orange. You get two special colours available for the Monte Carlo. Phoenix Orange is one and then there's Velvet Red. You can't course have it in the usual Fabia colors for me I'd probably prefer white or even uh, one of the dark gray colors graphite gray is lovely as well but look let's talk you through the various different accents and it's black accents that you're getting with the Monte Carlo so we have this black grille we have this black lower spoiler and as we move around here we come to, to the alloy wheels now out of the box you get 16 inch alloy wheels with this and I didn't see any bigger wheels available on the options list. Now, I think you can get them as accessories, but for me, I just don't really like them. They have these plastic inserts and they're there for aerodynamic purposes, but for me, they just look a bit cheap and they just don't look anywhere near as nice as we've seen in previous generations of the Monte Carlo. We have our Monte Carlo badging here at the side, which harks back to the original Monte Carlo rally and Skoda's famous victories in that rally and that's why we've had that Monte Carlo badging since then. This is the third Monte Carlo Fabia we've had. There wasn't one in the first generation but we've had them since 2011. If we move around to the back we'll see more black accents. We have a black roof spoiler and this black sort of rear diffuser thing. There is a panoramic glass roof on this version which is an option in lots of markets but is standard fit here and finishing off the black accents we have black Skoda lettering here for both the Skoda name and the Fabia badge itself. Where the Fabia really earns its stripes is in terms of boot space. 380 litres makes it the biggest boot you'll find in a super mini anywhere and it's much bigger than the model it replaces. It's 50 litres bigger than the previous Fabia and it's much bigger than you'll find in any of its key rivals. It wouldn't be a Skoda without the simply clever features and of course two of those are the umbrella which even makes it into the Fabia which is very handy and given the cold weather we're having as well it's handy to have an ice scraper and there's one built in right here in the fuel cap. Under here there's no fancy electric or hybrid or plug-in hybrid available for the Fabia. It's a simple one litre petrol engine. Now in the Monte Carlo you get a 95 horsepower unit. It's only 60 in the entry level Fabia. But this is a nice willing engine. 95 horsepower, 175 newton meters of torque. Top speed's about 190 kilometers per hour and it takes about 10 and a half seconds to get to 100 kilometers per hour. Fuel economy is decent as well. We've been averaging around four and a half, five uh, liters per 100 kilometer in this. So that's been very, very decent over the course of the week. But uh, look, nice little car, nice little engine, and it's gonna be cheap enough to run. What's really impressive is the interior of this Fabio Monte Carlo. The materials are excellent. And I really like the black, and red and sort of carbon look accents that are used throughout. This version has climate control, air conditioning. You have your infotainment system here with Apple CarPlay. This virtual cockpit is an optional extra, but it really is worth it. It's about 300 euro and it does really lift the cabin. This three spoke steering wheel feels really upmarket, really impressive. And I love these uh, metal dials that they have here on the steering wheel as well. They just feel upmarket. So overall, the cabin is just a really, really impressive place to be. I also love these seats too, these sports seats, which are standard on the car, feel good. They're very supportive and they look really good too. It's been a while since we drove a car that wasn't electric or plug-in hybrid or any other powertrain except petrol, but this is a simple one liter, 95 horsepower petrol engine, and it's actually really good. It's quite entertaining to drive too. The Fabia has a very good chassis. It's a very willing chassis and it handles really well. But the joy of driving a car like this, which is pretty underpowered to be honest, 95 horsepower won't blow your socks off, is that you can drive it enthusiastically on a back road have loads of fun and you're not really breaking the speed limit or getting into any trouble so there's always fun to be had in that this car is pretty frugal too i found over the course of the week that it's been really really returning good fuel economy figures for what is a small car that has 
punches above its weight if you like it's so it's got so much space in the back it's got so much boot space this is a car that could easily replace something like a volkswagen golf if you wanted to downsize and save a little bit of money because those cars those that segment of car has become a lot more expensive and this car even as it sits here with everything on it is still around 28,000 euro which is a lot less you're going to pay for something like a golf or focus or astra and you're not going to feel short change because this is such a high quality product i'm really impressed